Jen Parker and Julie Whitner. Featuring Nick Greco, Tim Harrington, Melissa McQueen, and Josh Paget. Musical guest, J.T. Spangler. And your host tonight, Miss Catherine Justin. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Catherine Justin. To you, of course. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right. 
Now, Eva's character is probably going to commit murder-suicide. This No, wait a minute, that was episode six. Uh, no, I don't know which one that is now. I don't know which one I'm supposed to keep secret. Yeah, probably all of them. Yeah, probably. Because uh, <laughs> I'm sure ABC doesn't want you telling everyone here that uh, Gabby, you know, committed murder-suicide and killed off the show. Oh, she isn't killed off. Oh. Oh, no, she comes back as a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> Every show got a vampire this year. It's yeah. only a matter of time before we start you and you got a vampire. Really? She comes up, they, like, aren't you bound by a contract saying, you know, you can't tell anyone these secrets? Probably. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's just a matter of time. You know, everybody's going to have a vampire. We can turn it around from show to show. Okay. Well, still, I feel like I know, I know. Really Oh, I should tell you that they have this, uh, a plan for Terry. She's going to fall down a flight of stairs for real this time. And um, <laughs> she's going to end up in 1980 Boston in a bar. <laughs> Sounds like cheers. Yeah. Because <laughs> I can't tell you who's going to play Norm because that is a secret. <laughs> I don't think anyone really cares who plays Norm. I mean, you just gave away the entire plot for that episode. I play, I play Norm. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Okay, so, I mean, please, no more spoilers. I want to be surprised. And you know what? Frankly, I'm a little worried for your job right now. I'm sorry, you're right. I should, I should you know, stop talking about it right now. Yes, you should. I could tell you about the new guy that's coming on. Uh, we have Arnold. Uh, this was a German guy who used to be an actor. I think we know. But he hasn't done anything in the last eight years. So we're <laughs> <laughs> trying to get another career going. Mm -hmm. And he uh, Kathy? Yeah. yeah uh, Pittsburgh Housewives producer Mark Cherry is on the phone. He needs to talk to you. Yeah. Oh, okay. He probably wants to give me a raise or something. Probably. <laughs> okay. But in the meantime, we're going to have a great show tonight. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, J.C. Spangler. Yeah. So stick around for our show. She's an amazing cook. Thank you. And I'm really glad you guys could be here. It's really nice. You know what? I was going to wait till later to do this, but right now seems as good a time as any. Happy anniversary, sweetie. Aww. What's this? Ah, it's just a little something I got you. We said we weren't going to exchange gifts this year. I know, but I saw this and I thought of you. Oh, that's so sweet. Come on, open it. I don't have anything for you. He's a guy. He doesn't care. Come on, just open it. I don't want to. I, I feel weird. If I had something for you, it would be different. Come on, it's just a little something I got. You go ahead, just open it. I, I really don't want to. I... Mm -mm. Open the box. No, I'll open it when I have something for you. No, that, that, that's ridiculous. I, just, just open the box. Yeah. No. Open it. I don't want to. Open it. No. Open the gift. What's going on? Where did you get a gun? You stay out of this. It's fair enough. something. You should open it. Open it. It's really pretty. Honey. I bought you a present. A polite thing to do. It's just too open. I can't. What do you mean you can't? Just tear off the paper before you get shot. You're really gonna shoot me if I don't open that box. I am gonna give you to the count of three to open that beautifully wrapped box that contains a symbol of my love and affection for Oh God! Two. Open the fucking gift. Open the fucking gift. Three. Fine, I'll open it. Great. <sighs> Dad, 
that is really pretty. It is. Awesome. It's really thoughtful. Yeah. It is really beautiful. I really like it. I knew you'd like it. All right, then. Should we all have some dessert? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, dessert sounds good. Mm, absolutely. Dessert sounds really great. Oh, good, because I got us some Boston cream pie. Uh, honey. <laughs> You know I don't like cream pies. You'll eat the fucking pie. I can't. Eat the fucking pie! Eat the fucking pie! What's the problem, officer? <laughs> I, I am not a law officer by any means. I'm sorry if I gave that impression. I'm just a concerned citizen, if you will. My name's Craig Christopher. Okay, uh, what, do you, what do you want then? Oh, well, you know, I live in the neighborhood, and, and it's, it's a nice neighborhood, but the, uh, you know, the police, they don't come by too often. So I take it upon myself to take a stroll through the park here at night before I go to bed. And uh, you know, tonight, I thought I saw signs of a struggle. Uh, so I came over and I just wanted to make sure that everybody was okay. Uh, are you okay? Um, I, yeah. What's going on? Oh, hello there. Ma'am, I did not see you. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Clearly, uh, okay, I thought someone was over here in, endangering life, but they're, they're in the act of creating life, so. Yeah. Hey, dude, what, what's your problem here? I mean, come uh, on. Well, to be honest, and since you asked, I have a phobia of finding dead bodies in cars at night. Uh, so, so you can only imagine my anxiety when I saw what I saw. Look, look, just, just get out of here, all right? We're just kind of going to go back to our thing. Okay, well, my apologies. All right, ma'am. Uh, carry on. All right. Who is that guy? Officer? I don't know. It's just some guy from the neighborhood. Look, forget about him, all right? Okay. gentleman said that you were okay, but I wanted to hear from you that you are not in any danger. I'm okay. Can you please leave? We're on a date. Oh, how's it going? It's going really well, except for this guy that keeps interrupting us. Oh, really? Yes. What's he look like? Oh, that's me. But before I go, I just want to give you this. A rape whistle? Say it. He's not raping me. <laughs> and I just want to keep it that way. <laughs> Listen, uh, all right, carry on. Congratulations, both of you. Good work. Mm -hmm. You, Andrea, have a good night. We'll turn to it. So, he thinks I'm raping you? Yeah, he does. So you better watch out. Oh, I'll watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Citizen, and I know now that you are not in any physical harm from each other, but good. You know, there is a danger of dehydration, so I thought I'd just bring you some water. Where, where did you get it's cold? Well, it serves as a smile. Uh, uh, just a concern, citizen. Dehydration really is the unsuspected killer until it kills you. Uh -huh. Unexpected. Oh, and I got this wait, wait, wait. For the potassium, it'll help you hydrate effectively. <laughs> it's it really is nature's catering. Well, 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 thanks. Well, look, I don't think we're in any danger at all. We're not in danger of being dehydrated or anything. So please, just beat it. Not anymore. Right? No. 
Not anymore. Yeah, not anymore. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Right. <laughs> this is a weird night. <laughs> so, why don't we just, well, let them know. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! Craig Christopher, Consumer yeah, Craig Services. Christopher. Uh, I forgot my keys and I'm locked out of my apartment. So I was wondering if you guys wanted to go hit up your cars for some flapjack, you know, carbo load. What the? <laughs> really? Oh, when you're done, I brought a book. Just happened to watch. How about? Oh, stop. 
wasting my time today. People <laughs> calling who really want to do themselves in. And I have a serious case of the nibbles. Okay, you know what? I am just as serious as the next guy. Huh. Then how about defenestration? What? What is that? So you haven't done any research on it at all. <laughs> it's a throwing yourself out a window. Google it. No, no, no. Okay, listen. Just, come on. I'm just really not in a funny mood. 
Great, so this is even more awkward. More awkward than sex with Mike's wife? When the mailman gets home from work, his dog bites him. <laughs> I wonder. She's not well. <laughs>
I wonder with Diana Costa. If our bodies are 97% water, why am I always thirsty? I wonder. Oh, uh, poor thing. so many menus? Who needs this many menus? What house? Who's going to order this many pizzas? Is that what this is? A fat joke? Because, ah! Yeah, thanks! I'm going to order a bunch of pizzas now. Thanks. I'm not fat. Boisterous. I'm so hungry for pizza, but from where shall I order a pizza? I don't know. If only I had a menu, I'm just gonna wait inside deciding from where I shall order a pizza. Maybe a menu will come.
I just love these dance recitals too. So which little girl is yours? Oh, uh, the one with the red hair and the sequin leotard. Oh. Well, you know what they say, ugly in the cradle, beautiful in the grave. <laughs> <laughs> Graceful is the time that Gregory Hines fell into my snatch. <laughs> and by the way, that man can really dance, because let me tell you, he can be really creative. <laughs> like the carnies working the board. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess my daughter could use a few more lessons. Oh, dancing like that, she needs seizure medication. <laughs> wow, which one is yours? I use that lamp. <laughs> oh, you mean which kid is mine? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you see the round one over there with the Kool-Aid mouth? Yeah, that's my granddaughter. Oh. Well, they're just kids. They're not supposed to be perfect. <laughs> she could be perfect if she could embrace bulimia, but all <laughs> <laughs> of her peanut butter. <laughs> I want her to be an A-list like, like her grandmother. Hmm. Sure. Is that right? That reminds me of a funny story. Back in 85, it was me and Dave Coulier in the changing room of a, of a Z Cabaracci store. Mm -hmm. oh. Boy, did he give me a full house, if you know what I mean. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm afraid I do. Uh, you know what, maybe we should just sit here and be quiet to not disturb the kids. Oh, okay, sure. Well, that one with the wedgie looks fancy. You know, I, it takes a lot of discipline but you gotta lay off the cocaine till after they're born. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Well, that reminds me of a funny story. Listen, I did cocaine once with Tattoo from Fantasy Island. And I kept giggling because he kept looking like a little matzo ball floating around that big old truck. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You just say whatever pops into your head, don't you? <laughs> Are you kidding? I mean, this is a children's recital. I'm being very reserved. <laughs> Just tell me about the 80s celebrities you hooked up with in great detail and throwing insults around. Insults? I never said a word about your hair. <laughs> <laughs> I, I meant about the, the kids. Look, you know, I think you're being really inappropriate, so I think I'm just going to leave. Oh, no, listen, listen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but sometimes I, I just don't know what's inappropriate and what's not. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, oh. I'm sorry, it's okay. Yeah, I, I totally understand. Because, you know, it would be really inappropriate if I told you about the time I was in the Globetrotters, the Harlem Globetrotters dressing room, and it was Meadowlark Lemon in the front and Twiggy in the back with the Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs>
going on? Oh, oh hey, we found this guy lying there. Somebody should call someone. Yeah, yes. right, you know? Yes. So did somebody call someone? Probably. Probably? Yeah. <laughs> what did they say when they get here? Soon. Cool, because he does not look good. Well, he is breathing, though, so <laughs> he's breathing. So. Well, by, by soon. Uh, we meant we were going to call soon. So you haven't called yet. What are you waiting for? Somebody needs to call someone now. Come on. Oh, oh, I would, but my battery's kind of, kind of low. I've only got one bar. Great, one bar. That'll do. Make the call. I've only got one bar. It's one bar. Make the call. Fine, fine. It's um, ah, no bars. Oh. Damn. Because somebody needs to call someone. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe there's like a doctor or like a cop. There's usually nope. tons we, around. We no, nope, there's not. <laughs> Maybe he's sleeping. He could be sleeping. Once again, Acme Comedy presents I Wonder with Diana Costa. I wonder, if a bear shits in the woods and no one's there, is it still stinky? <laughs> oh, Diana. She does the best she can. You can go now. Jonathan Green. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Acme Saturday Night News. I'm Dan Kane. Our top story tonight. President Obama has replaced his top general in Afghanistan after an article in Rolling Stone revealed disrespectful comments by the general and his staff. Now, take a look at General McChrystal's face here. I'd say he's about two seconds away from ripping Obama's head off. Where have I seen that look before? Oh, uh, yeah, there it is. At least one military source close to the general has disputed the accuracy of the article. Meanwhile, some giggling, high-fiving Taliban youth have already started working on their next submission to Rolling Stone. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, guys. It's day 67 or 68 of the Gulf oil spill, and as more beaches are being affected, BP has released a statement saying they are well aware of all the tar babies washing up on the beaches. I'm not sure they have that right. Uh, BP says not to worry, they've got 
plenty of crew out there to clean the tar babies and return them to the briar patch. Well, well done, BP. Thank you. In World Cup news, powerhouse teams Italy and France were eliminated this week, and the U.S. lost its match against Ghana. The, the U.S. lost its match in bracket play. Uh, the sw uh, sorry, sir, can you not blow that while I'm doing the news? Thank you. Uh, the U.S. lost to the team from Ghana, who had uh, rallied in... in they, and they will go on to play Uruguay. Okay, all right. Okay, I get it. V Vuvuzela is hot right now. It's, it's a big deal at the World Cup, but uh, it's, it's really fucking annoying, okay? And people can't hear us do the news, uh, especially the people listening online. And if you're listening online right now, you can adjust your browser settings or maybe do something with your audio so that uh, you can tune out the Vuvuzela. In fact, just, just Google how to stop the Vuvuzela. Okay, I'm done talking about the World Cup now. I'm done. Nick, what are you doing? Uh, it's pretty clear, Dan. Um, to talk about soccer, I'm obligated to blow the babuzala. What? The that, that's, that's ridiculous, actually. <laughs> Those are the rules, Dan. Uh, okay, so in other news, Justin Bieber's hair grew another 14 inches this week. <laughs> and he was hit in the head by a soccer ball. Okay, I got it. Thanks, Nick. Uh, I, I, thank you, Nick. Nick Rico, welcome, everyone. Dan. Well, well done. <laughs> Big sports fan, Nick Rico. There's word in Hollywood that Kate Gosselin may get yet another reality show. This one is a dating show. Joining us live from our studio is Kate Gosselin. Hi, Kate. Hi, Dan. So, uh, Kate, are you ready to get back in the dating game? Sure, Dan. Why not? I'm quite a catch. I'm warm and loving, and I'm just a whole heck of a lot of fun to be around. Clearly. Um, so uh, all that going for you, you, you do come with a lot of kids. What are you saying, Dan? That I'm not desirable because I have half a dozen kids? Well, I, I, I thought you had eight, isn't it? Like as in Kate plus eight? Six, eight, what does it matter? I'm lonely, and I need some help. Okay, whatever you say. I mean, I'm not as mean as everybody says I am. <laughs> Kids, get back in the van, all right? I don't care if you have to go to the bathroom. Get back in the van. Your mother's working here. Wow. Um, that's, really, that's really sweet. Uh, so what kind of lucky guy are you hoping to meet? Dan, are you asking me out? No. Because I'll go. I gotta get out no, of the no, house. No, yeah, no, no, I'm now, not. Now where, where are you, Dan? Dan, where are you? I'm coming to get you. I, she's coming out here. All right. Dan? Shh. Dan, where are you? Dan, I'm coming. Shh. Dan, I'm coming to get you. Where are you, Dan? Dan, Dan. you down, Dan, because I really am a fun gal to be around. Uh, I don't get it. I'm sure you are. I'll, I'll <laughs> I just don't get it. After the show, I'll be going to my home in Fresno. Fresno. I really remember that. <laughs> uh, Kate Gosselin, everyone. Thank you very much. That'll be fun to watch. Uh, yesterday, music fans around the world observed the one-year anniversary of the Jackson 4. <laughs> it's okay, you can enjoy it, it's all right. Some of you aren't sure, but it's all right. Actress Renee Zellweger is back in the spotlight. It's rumored that she and Hollywood hunk Bradley Cooper have gotten engaged. Here to comment on this is Renee herself. Hi, Renee. Hello. You have me at hello. Uh, yeah, of course. That, that's your okay. That's your line from Jerry Maguire. 
Uh, but, but we're here to talk about your new engagement. Um, are the rumors true that you and Mr. Cooper are going to tie the knot? Yes, I am getting married, and we're adopting a baby. Wow. Uh, that, that's kind of quick. Um, you guys aren't even married yet. Well, when you become Hollywood royalty like Angelina, Madonna, Sandra, and myself, raising brown babies is part of your duty. Well, that's great news. Uh, so what, what is your baby's name? We're naming him Marley. After Bob Marley? No, after Marlboro. I have a video of him. Oh, all right. Guess what I saw today? What? A Teddy Ruxpin. Oh my god. Do you remember those stuffed animals with yes. the cassette tape? Holy shit, that was back in the day. Oh, back in my day. Man, we, we played with uh, monster trucks and everybody wore cross colored cross colored clothing and then vanilla ices at the top of the head. <laughs> yeah, that was um, that was the early 90s, Grandma. Mm -hmm. So I I feel like you weren't a child then. Yeah, that would make you younger than us. Oh, you're probably right. Can I offer you some muffins? Yeah, sure. Sure. Um, Grandma, these muffins smell a little funny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every they stroke for different folks, honey. It's no big. Okay. So, Vinny, how was school going? Oh, it's good. I got one semester left. So, so you what, third grade now? <laughs> I'm a senior in college. Oh, not back in my day. I remember college. <laughs> one spring. A bunch of us got together and we stabbed Julius and he really got pissed. <laughs> We're in the middle of the he, 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 he. You're, Are you talking about the Ides of March? You're describing a historical event from the year 44 BC. <laughs> yeah, you, so. you probably didn't go to college then. <laughs> huh? I could be. Can I offer you some more muffins? Uh, what? Uh, right here. Maybe you can't finish the one. <laughs> Grandma, why, why all the muffins? Well, sometimes I just get the munchies. <laughs> well, I think it's, I think it's.
great. You've got a you've got a good appetite. That's right. Yeah, I sure do. Mm -hmm. Now, Sean, how old are you now? About sixty. <laughs> I'm 27, Grandma. Oh, well, on my 27th birthday, we went to the city. Oh. And the, the only music on the radio was, was, I don't know, commercial jingles. And everybody lived in the subways, and there were only Taco Bell restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, OK, so that's the future, of, as depicted in the movie Demolition Man. <laughs> Yeah, no, I can go not. see that. No, because it, no, it sounds like you have. It yeah. sounds like you have seen it. Uh, You're Sean, familiar. honey, could you get the door? There's I didn't hear anyone knock. Okay. Again, Grandma. Oh. <laughs> really, what's with all the muffins? What is the green stuff in the muffins? <laughs> pot. pot? It's pot. Yeah, Mary Jane, do you want to go? <laughs> Marijuana. <laughs> yeah, I can get it. <laughs> well, you know, I used to smoke this shit, and then I found out it causes cancer, so now I'm just baking. <laughs> You'd be surprised what else I could bake. <laughs> so you just sit around all day and you make pot muffins, and then you eat them? Yeah. Especially that time that I was in the submarine, that Nautilus, and we were looking for Moby Dick and the monolith, and I was with Jean-Luc Picard. <laughs> you guys want some more muffins? Grandma!
don't want to go back up. Like, why, why would someone put that tire damage? It does. It's dangerous. No? Okay. <laughs> now, this one is the five south. You know, why? For, because people, it's very hot right now. I don't know. Why, why is that hot? I'm so confused. Oh, no, you are confused. drive the van, boss? Yeah, I'm going to drive the van so we can use my uh, my placard for the disabled so we can park up front. <laughs> well, that sounds good, but, uh, you know, technically one of us could drive it yes, and then put true. the placard up yeah. when we get there. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have fucking arthritis in your knees, huh? No. Uh, no. Uh, All right, I'll drive the van. <laughs> now, Jerry and I will scale the eight-foot wall in to get into the ground. Um, uh, hold on, I'm sorry, boss. Uh, you and Jerry... Yeah. Are going to scale an eight foot wall? Yeah. Well, you got a problem with that? You got a pro problem no, with no, that? No, boss, no, I don't. It's just. It's an eight foot wall. Yeah, yeah. It's just... Like you're paying attention, all right? Yeah. Well, I'm, it's, you are going to scale, meaning physically go over the top of an eight foot wall. <laughs> if I had watered the fucking definition, I would have brought me a dictionary. <laughs> in the ground, right? Oh, wait a second. Here you go. I need to do this. Oh, thanks, boss. <laughs> no, because you got to take out the guards by strangling them because we didn't have no gunfire. Oh. Plus, it is going to be a little cold down there, and I have some blue left over, so I thought it would be something for your eyes. Oh, thank, thank you. Okay. Next. Oh, now, I want to pay attention here. Sorry, boss. <laughs> no. I shoot a grappling hook up to the rope and I reverse propel up to the top 20th floor. I smash through the windows into the surveillance room and I take out the guards there without firing oh, any oh, but I, you know, I got a real problem with this one. Um, what? You're going to reverse repel yeah. to the 20th floor. Right. Take out two guards with your bare hands? <clears throat> yeah. When did you get so fucking stupid? No, I'm going to go to the branch and fuck your mother. That's right. <laughs> Alright, I 
I baked it this morning. Oh, wait, and I baked another pie. Now, this one has the strip cake. This is for the guard dogs. All right? Okay, now, what's going to happen is that I'm going to face jump off of the 20th floor. I'm going to uh, go down through, and then I'm going to release my harness, drop it through the, the glass dome, and I'm going to go 20 more feet, ending about this far from the floor, not touching the floor, right? And take out the with the machine guns, all of the people there. You got all that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. Really good. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right. All right, then you go. Oh, wait a minute. This is the one with the strip cake. Yeah. <laughs> man in the world. I don't always drink beer, and when I do, I prefer Dos Equis. Has anyone seen my husband? It's so dark in here, I can't see a thing. Damn it. Oh, maybe we can continue this later. Here you are. Look out, honey. That's a nice girl. Listen, I got your medication uh, at the pharmacy, but they were out of the insured. Now, is that okay? Uh, yes, it's, it's fine. Because I know how cranky you get if you don't get the she tends to exaggerate. I don't get cranky. Well, I went into the pharmacy. I was there five seconds. I walk out, and there's no hubby, and you're gone, and... Yeah, we are always missing each other. Well, now, what is going on? Oh, are you being interesting again? You know, he's always running off being interesting. I never see it. How come you're never interesting with me? Her father was very wealthy. You know what was interesting? Do you remember the time that we went to the Merrimack Caverns? Oh, we had so much. That was interesting. It was not that interesting. Oh, it rained the whole time, and, and we spent the whole time in the trailer, and we just cuddled, and we just had a wonderful time, me and my toddy. <laughs> told you not to call me that. Oh, honey, Todd of the night. Well, oh, why don't you wear that shirt? Oh, that doesn't do anything for you. It's my most interesting shirt. Hey, anyhow. He thinks that Todd Berkowitz is not an interesting name. I think it's adorable. You know what that reminds me of? That time when we were at Ruby Falls and we were playing bridge with, what was it, Bonnie and what was his name? Chester. Bonnie, Chester, Cusker that's right. Something. The McCuskers, right. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had the Queen of Spades and you were the dummy and Bonnie was trying to finesse the king. No, wait a minute. I think I had the king. My and friends. The queen. I really should have stayed uh, thirsty. I think it was in Spain that we could have been hearts that we were playing with us. Anyhow, it was really fun that time, remember?
You can lose my number Thank you. 